Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. How do we know that the Tyrannosaurus Rex once roamed the Earth? Or how do we study a mosquito that may be millions of years old? The answer is fossils. Fossils are the remains of once living organisms. In this video, I'd like to talk about several different types of fossils. Up first, mineralization. This is when an organism dies and is buried under sand and other sediments. Minerals in the water begins to replace the organism's original materials and will harden and become almost like a rock. For example, petrified wood is an example of mineralization. Next is carbonization. This occurs when an organism dies and is compressed. Over time, eventually, all that remains is a carbon outline of the original organism. Molds and casts are also important fossils. An organism will die, and you may have a bone or a tooth, and it will make an impression. And then this impression hardens so that you have a permanent record. This is a mold. Next, this impression can fill up and create a cast, which is a copy of the impression. Take a look at the mold and the cast. Sometimes you don't even have a record of the original organisms, but evidence of their behavior. You may find a footprint, or maybe an example where they crawl, or other types of tracks. These are called trace fossils. And then finally, you may have a copy of the original material. This may happen when you have a tiger, for example, that falls into a tar pit, and for thousands of years it is preserved. Or you may get an insect that is covered with amber, and it will remain in this amber for a very, very long time. So there we go, five different types of fossils and the remains of once living organisms. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math 